Hi family, how are you? I just want to come in and um, just give you guys an update and to thank you all for all the prayers that you all um, have given me. You know, a husband let me know. And I've seen some of you guys' um, prayers and messages and you just don't know how much, you know, that means to me, you know, to um, hear from you. And to hear the prayers that you guys gave to me um i'm gonna start i know husband um told you guys something of uh what's going on but um i had the um the surgery last week and um the anesthesia and everything went well um it's, it's definitely was different going into the surgery and i have my husband there you know he was there but he was not like with me because of the c word so uh, he had, they had to take his phone number and uh, they had to call him after I got a recovery. Now, I was in recovery for at least about two hours. It took me like two hours to even wake up. So I know that was nerve wracking for him, you know, especially with the past um, surgeries I had and uh, me, you know, uh, almost, uh, you know, uh, passing away from the last surgery, you know, from complications from anesthesia. So I know that was nerve wracking. But nonetheless, you know, uh, God woke me up, and I'm so grateful and thankful to that. Um, um, I knew something was uh, uh, not, shall I say, not right by the feel when I woke up, you know, by, you know, uh, my husband. Now, um, after the surgery, they allowed uh, him to come in, but he had to have a mask on. He had to stay six feet of six feet away from me and the guidelines is um i can only have one visitor a day and um that um visitor had to be over 18 you know so my um, two youngest um children jordan malik the twins you guys see all the time they were not allowed to you know to come visit me at the hospital and that was like heartbreaking for me as well as my grandson you know he'll be um one you know um so um, I couldn't see him as well, but um, like I said, I knew something was not right by the feel, you know, when I came in, the doctors had already talked to my husband, so when I woke up, hold on, I'll be right back, the uh, oven is um, beeping. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back from me, I know husband and my kids is gonna get me, they ran to the store, and um, I was not supposed to be doing nothing, but um, I wanted to put in um, some food in the oven, you know, so I know I'm gonna hear it when they all get back. But um, back to um, this, um, what I was saying, I was saying that um, I knew when I woke up from the studio that, you know, something wasn't right by my husband or, you know, I've been with him over 20 some years, so I know my husband, I know that the feeling, you know, and his body language and, you know, was just, you know, like not right not like like he his usual self so um um that's when i found out that uh, I, uh during the surgery and everything they found the tumor in my stomach you know so um um they did a biopsy and um just waiting for the results for that they said it could take the two to three weeks because of what the uh with the C word and everything in the lab they sent it to so I'm hoping I get it sooner than later but um and family my feelings about that is you know um um actually my feeling about that is like you know like 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 wow you know me um like what I I've been through a lot I'm like you know um this too, you know what I'm saying, you know, this too, um, I'm not gonna lie to you, cause I never do a lot of you family, you know, um, I've cried about it, and look like the tears is coming up, now. Nah, I have cried about it, you know, but, um, I, I, I put my faith in God, you know, completely, I put my faith in God, and I trust Him for everything, I trust that even if the test results come back and it's not in my favor even though i don't claim you know that even if it's not 
in my favor. I know I'm not left alone. I'm not going to deal with this by myself. I know I have family and friends who are going, you know, to be with me every step of the way, no matter what the test results say. So, I'm um, hearing the news, you know, that it could possibly be cancerous, you know, um, you know, it, it, it hurt. You know, it hurt, you know, because I have family members who I've ever lost um, because of cancer. You know, and um, my sister has cancer, you know, um, and, you know, it just, it, it just threw me off, you know, family, it just threw me off, you know, completely, you know, I was like, you know, wow, you know, and I had to, you know, hear it again, you know, that, you know, that could possibly be that, you know, but um, like I was telling my husband and I told the doctor, I said, okay, after, you know, I mean, I cry, not like I cry now, you know what I mean, but... I am going to hold my head up high, you know, I am going to, you know, um, the battle, I am, the battle is not mine, it's definitely the Lord's, you know, um, I know that whatever God has planned for me, I know that I'm going to put the armor of God all, all on me, and I know that I am going to, um, fight this head on, and I know that, um, there's never been a time or a moment that I didn't had like trials and tribulations with God has never showed up and showed out, you know. I know even times where, you know, it was just terrible, God was with me through it all. So this is not gonna be no different even if it doesn't go in my favor. I still trust and believe, you know, that, you know, God is gonna get the final say. And I do claim victory, you know, no matter what. You know, I claim victory even before I even know the results. I claim victory in Jesus' name that you know that I'm gonna be healed. So, you know, I, I do have my moments where, you know, family, why I just wanna break down and just wanna, like, you know, like, why? You know, why me? Why me? You know what I'm saying? You know, but, um, I have been hit with, you know, um, a lot of hard things, you know, in my life. A lot of things you guys know about. A lot of, a lot of you don't know about it. But I know through it all that um, I have never been left alone, you know, to deal with my mom. So, like I said, this is no different. So, um, with that being said, family, you know, I'm just waiting for the test results. You know, um, they said they would give me a call and I would go into the office. And they would discuss with me and my husband, you know, you know what's going on so it's just a waiting game but I don't like to call it a waiting game I like to say that I'm waiting on God that's a lot that's all I say you know um, my family you know they and they're trying to be as strong as they can but I know it's bothering my husband deep as well as my children all of my children even my oldest children are here you know um, they have uh, you know came down and you know it was just hurtful that uh, I can only see, you know, one, you know, person, you know, uh, one at uh, once a day. They, I couldn't have all of my family in at one time. And uh, like I said, my youngest ones, I couldn't see it all, only through FaceTime. So that was, you know, hard. But we are all back together, you know, and we're going to get to do this together. And I wanted to come and just update you guys, family. And I wanted to come and tell each and every one of my sisters from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. From um, um, I am Kiva, Von Eyes on the Budget, Sweet Sadie J, um, um, Slim Shell, um, Irene, um, I'm trying to think of everybody, you know, that responded. Um, Queen Ray, all of my sisters, you know, I love, oh, Candy Poo. Can't forget my Candy Poo. I love all you. Thank you, sisters, for all the love and support that you guys have showed me. Husband showed me, you know, the messages at the hospital. And it means so much more than you guys will ever know. It means a lot. And I'm grateful. And thankful. Oh, I'm sorry. And Lisa Dukes. Thank you, Miss Lisa Dukes. Thank you all for all your prayers and love that you send. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to fight this. I'm going to fight this. You know, I'm going to beat it. I trust it. I claim it already in Jesus' name. I claim it in Jesus' name.
Victory is mine in Jesus' name. I love you all so much. I'm about to get off of here because I don't want to keep crying and crying. But I love you all. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, sisters. Thank you. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.